Angry moments during a city code enforcement meeting in Daytona Beach today as the owner of a derelict home that's been the subject of numerous complaints accuses the city of selective enforcement. West News Claire Metz reports even though a special magistrate thinks the home should be torn down, he ended up siding with the owner. John Birch says his home here on Berkshire Road just off Mason Avenue is a work in progress, but residents and city officials see no progress, haven't for years. The folks who live nearby say they're sick of this eyesore. And that man right there has a vendetta against me. John Birch says code enforcement officers have unfairly singled him out, even though he admits there is a lot of junk in his yard. Debris out front, and inside, only vague signs of rehab. There's not even a roof. Still, Birch spoke derogatorily about Officer John Stenson. And he'll come out here like a little, that's out of KKK, the black KKK. How can you not go through the whole city and give everybody a citation at one time? Uh oh, so you pick on who you want to pick on. And then Birch signed an agreement with the city in January that work on the house would be done by July. He claims personal troubles interfered and his permit expired. He was hauled before a special magistrate accused of doing work without a permit, but the magistrate saw no evidence of that and refused to penalize Birch. However, even the magistrate believes refurbishment is a lost cause. I don't understand, quite frankly, why the city hasn't torn this building down. Code enforcement officials say Birch has been granted several permits since 2012, yet the site is still in shambles. It is not, they say, selective enforcement. We get a complaint, we go out, investigate it, or if it's visibly noticeable, we, we do what we have to do. What's you know, next? to call us a black KKK, you know, I've been called worse. Owner Birch insists he's going to finish this up, but code enforcement officials say they're not finished taking action against him. They'll file new violations that could come with hefty fines and ultimately a demolition order. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.